Good afternoon. Dozens of tents have been set up inside King's College Circle. The school had fenced the area off to try to prevent demonstrations. CTV's Janice Golding joins us live from UFT this hour to bring us the very latest. Janice. Hi, Michelle. Yes, demonstrators started arriving here in the pre-dawn hours, and by about 8 o'clock this morning, there were already about 100 people here. Now, if you take a look from our CTV News Chopper, you can see that there are about four dozen tents that have been set up in the center of King's College Circle, the protest being widely discussed online on social media, the group Toronto for Palestine calling this the Solidarity Encampment. Now, the protesters say they're showing solidarity with the Palestinian people, and they're calling on the university to cut its ties with Israel as the war with Gaza continues. They're joining students across North America who have set up encampments on campus as they insist universities disclose connections with the Israeli government and divest from Israeli companies. The University of Toronto um, has divested from South African apartheid. They've divested from fossil fuels. Um, and so this is not something new. Students have been making this demand of this university since 2006. I'm here um, with a large group of Jewish students and faculty members. Um, to really um, show our support to, to challenge the ways in which um, questions of Jewish safety have been invoked because this is a very safe space and, and Jewish people are very involved in uh, supporting Palestinian uh, uh, solidarity and liberation. The students' demands are really crucial in terms of the human rights struggles of our time and really happy to be here to show, to show support. Meanwhile, the University of Toronto has issued a written statement to the media. It reads, the university respects the rights of members of our community to assemble and protest within the limits of the law and U of T policies, but they must not interfere with the ability of students, faculty, librarians and staff to learn, teach, research and work on our campuses or disrupt or impede other university activities. U of T's campuses remain open. Those who contravene university policy or the law risk the consequences set out in various laws and policies, such as the Code of Student Conduct, which could include suspension. Now, this week we have seen other pro Palestinian uh, encampments set up across North America and in Canada, specifically at universities in Montreal, London, Ottawa, and Vancouver. Reporting live, I'm Janice Golding. Now back to Michelle and Nathan.